Bummen. Around the coast of New Zealand work a few old and honourable ships, the last of a dying class of scars. Such a one is Echo coming across Cook Strait in a calm on her regular run from Wellington City to Blenheim Town. She has to slide her 175 tonnes over the Wairau bar, so it sails down and sent aboard up. As Echo approaches, the pilot launch is sounding the bar. No change in the channel, the pilot reports, and Echo moves on. With Captain Durant at the wheel, Echo's engines are full ahead. The tide's on the turn. Easily, quietly, Echo slips over the bar, only a looming shoal and fast water to remind her that danger's there. The bar drops astern. Now the quiet Opawa River and breakfast. Today, Echo is one of the very few scows still using sail with her engines. She has been plying up and down the Opawa River for more than half her 55 years. She has seen changes all around her, but has changed little herself. From the bar to Blenheim is 12 miles, a two-hour run. It's not every vessel that has a landscape to both port and starboard, and it's quite a job to keep it from coming aboard. Old-timers know Echo well. They've seen her mast tops slide above the willows, heard the beat of her engines for many a year. Blenheim's ahead, a quiet berth, a change of cargo, and tomorrow Echo will go down the river and back across the strait. So she will ply for the rest of her busy life until she ties up for the last time. And when she does, the era of the sail scow will be near its end. Echo, truly the echo of a shipping age that soon will be no more. <laughs>